If you keep up with the latest tech news, you will know that 5G is starting to make its first rounds into the consumer telecommunications and wireless market. Verizon's been marketing its 5G network and options claiming it's built right. AT&T has been marketing its own version of 5G titled 5GE. These commercials convey the message that 5G is coming. It's never been faster, more better or more reliable than ever before. But what does this mean for us in the future of wireless communications? With advancements comes new responsibilities to consider, especially pertaining to the security side of things. And in today's video, I'm going to be presenting the two major security concerns of 5G. A new faster network that has the potential to transform the internet. Five G supersedes four G, and G stands for generation. So you have fifth generation, fourth generation, third generation. Wireless G technologies have been around for a while now. Three uh, G, the first release of three G, was back in two thousand, and even before then, we had two G and one G technology. Although wireless generation technologies have been established before the third generation. Uh, wireless 3G was the first wireless communication technology to be widely known by the market. With brand new releases such as the iPhone 3G, which was the successor to the original iPhone, the market was really starting to pay attention to what 3G stood for. By the time 2009 came around, 4G was officially announced and released as the successor of 3G, marketing a better, more reliable network than ever before. Fast forward a decade and we're starting to experience yet another transition again, this time from 4G to 5G. 5G is promising. Well, it's promising the delivery of instantaneous communications to support and handle next generation advancements like self-driving cars, drones, and many more smart applications. All of these smart applications really are going to need to rely heavily on this instantaneous speedy connection uh, and they're gonna rely on the 5G network to have this communication. How does 5G offer better speed than 4G? Well, let's briefly look at how 5G works. 5G aims to connect uh, IoT devices, Internet of Things as it's known, together, as well as smartphones and next generation technologies through the use of millimeter waves. Currently, 4G uses a radio frequency spectrum to connect your cell phone and other devices. However, there is a limited number of radio frequencies and a whole lot of people with cellular phones. And as we move towards an era of Internet of Things, even more devices are going to be connected. So this is where 5G millimeter wave solution comes into play. Radio signals are measured by their wavelength. The shorter the wavelength, the higher the frequency. So 5G measures its signal wavelength in millimeters. Because 5G incorporates these high frequencies, data bandwidth will be much higher than the current 4G LTE offering. In addition to these higher speeds through the millimeter wave technology, 5G is gonna have reduced latency. Currently, 4G has a latency of around 70 milliseconds but 5G should have less than one millisecond. The downside of using millimeter technology is that it offers only a short range, meaning 5G may only have or span around a few blocks, and it's not gonna project over a city or a complete geographical location. In addition, smaller frequencies tend not to handle obstacles as well, such as walls or uh, barriers uh, or trees. They don't tend to handle them very well. Considering the downside of millimeter wave technology, 5G infrastructure will be rolled out a lot differently than past generations. In the past, service providers install these big cellular towers which span over a large geographical area, propagating these signal cells. However, with 5G infrastructure, service providers will provide and install the equipment known as small cells on these existing telephone lines. These buildings will have a range of roughly 250 meters, so incoming connections will simply connect to one of these small cells, which in turn will connect to a centralized server. 
This is just the basic of how 5G works, and it's a little bit more complex than this, but it's beyond the scope of this video. 5G appears to be offering many upgrades to the current 4G landscape and infrastructure. But with new innovation and features coming, uh, there's a new profound responsibility on these service providers and on the vendors who are going to be offering new devices to connect to the 5G network. We really have to consider the future of security and how these IoT and smart devices like self-driving cars are going to be considered critical to some extent because they're going to be relying on this instantaneous connection. So what's the current security status of 5G? Well, here's two major security concerns that 5G really is offering or uh, is brought up within the past few years. As with any new release of technology, the security community at large has uh, been challenging the foundation of 5G and what kind of attack vectors open uh, with the use of 5G technologies. On October 18th, 2018, researchers from ETH uh, Zurich, University of Lorraine, and University of Dundee uh, released a paper titled A Formal Analysis of 5G Authentication. Now, this wasn't the first white paper released on 5G security, but it did bring awareness to the potential security concerns of 5G authentication. Researchers included 5G as unsecure and missing critical security goals, which were not met under the current standards defined by 3GGP. 3GGP, or the Third Generation Partnership Project, has been working on standardizing 5G since 2016. As a result from severe underlying security issues of past or prior generations, 3GGP has assembled to help mitigate future security problems of G technologies. 3GGP developed the AKA protocol or Authentication Key Agreement protocol in response to improving the overall security of a G technology. The AKA protocol supports entity authentication, message integrity, and message confidentiality, three important factors when it comes to security. The 5G AKA protocol has been enhanced to support the new 5G developments and requirements. But this protocol has opened up possible new opportunities for unintended interactions an attacker could exploit between sub protocols. As highlighted on page 10, section 521 of security analysis, the authors specifically pinpoint that 5G AKA protocol fails to meet several security goals that are explicitly required as well as other critical security properties. Now to truly understand the underlying security concerns of the 5G AKA authentication protocol, you must know how the AKA protocol works in general, which is out of the scope of this video. So I'm not going to go into too much further technical detail on how 5G AKA protocol works, but there will be a link in the description below to read more about the details in the research process, process, process conducted by the researchers uh, that created this paper. In addition to the potentially flawed authentication process, 5G will also act as an enabler for large-scale cybersecurity attacks involving IoT devices. IoT, or Internet of Things, has been steadily increasing in popularity within the past few years, and due to these new developments, 5G has been created to support the requirements of IoT. If you aren't familiar with IoT, basically it's devices connected to the internet with the intention of ha making devices smart or functional to some extent. Anywhere from smart refrigerators to sensors to gas meters to home devices, all of these can be considered IoT devices, which offer a functional property, or they do something, and they're all connected to the internet. Because 5G will be supporting these smart devices or sensors, large-scale DDoS attacks could be more prevalent. And 5G is going to act as the enabler for these large-scale DDoS attacks. Meaning 5G alone won't necessarily cause a DDoS attack, but as a result of deploying 5G, more devices will be able to receive a reliable connection to the internet, which in turn will allow more devices to be infected with malware, leading to devices to attack potential services. Okay, so today I outlined 
two major security concerns of 5G. And now, because 5G is in its early stages of development, it doesn't mean that these concerns can't be fixed or improved upon. In fact, 3GGP released version 16 in early 2019, improving the clarity behind some of the criticisms the white paper that I mentioned had mentioned regarding authentication. 5G has a very promising future ahead of itself with more reliability and less latency than the current 4G LTE infrastructure, I believe we're going to see some major improvements when 5G has been fully shipped out or adopted. Until that time, I think it's important that organizations like 3GGP and these telecommunication companies, such as Verizon and AT&T, should keep this, the security a top priority during the deployment phase. As we continue to be more connected, than ever before. Especially with IoT devices, security will be so much more important than it is even now. And my hopes is that 5G will be the leading example of what it means to prioritize security first. That's it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you have learned something new about 5G. If you have, please consider letting me know what your security concerns of 5G are and what you think of the future of 5G. Until the next time, have a good day.